So this has to be one of the best values that I have ever seen. And I say this once in a while on my channel, but this is really getting close to one of the best values that I've ever featured on my main channel, on this channel. This is called Bernie. Has nothing to do with Bernie Sanders, I would imagine, but this is called Bernie. It comes in a very simple box. This is their dive watch. It's their affordable dive watch. So they make two different versions of dive watches or a few different versions of dive watches. One of them is a little bit more expensive. I think it's around $199. This one is $99. However, you can get 10% off your first order. So this comes out to $90 or $80 on a strap. Now keep that in mind as I go through the specs. And I'm gonna go through the specs pretty quickly. You have all stainless steel construction. You get two year warranty. So there is a booklet right here, but you get two year warranty on this watch. That's something to note at $90. Not many brands can do that. This is a orange yellowish dial, I guess you would call it. You have an inner rotating bezel. You have a sapphire crystal that is flat on the top. You have a sapphire crystal that is flat on the back where you can see the movement. You do get a Miyota 8 series movement, so a Japanese movement inside that does hack. Now that's very important because there are many brands out there that make watches that are a lot more expensive that do not hack. So I'm gonna unscrew the crown here and you have big crowns on here. And I'm just gonna pull out the crown and there it is, it hacks. You have a day date there at the three o'clock. You have the inner rotating bezel here at around two o'clock. It's a little bit clicky and it feels really good. Actually very well made. Very, very impressed by it. It does not screw in, but you still get 200 meters of water resistance. That's what they claim. Uh, even if you don't get 200 meters of water resistance at this price, I don't think this could be beat. Now this does have a screwed in crown, as I mentioned. It's all stainless steel, so you have a stainless steel case and a stainless steel bracelet. Now the bracelet on here, you have solid links, solid end links, but take a look at this. There are screws right here. There are no spring bars. This has screw bars through the case. You get a partially milled buckle, as you can see, very typical of a lot of micro brands that are a lot more expensive. And you have three positions of micro adjust. You do have friction fitted pins. You have an oyster style bracelet polished on the side, brushed on the top but it's actually a solid bracelet that feels very well made, especially considering the price. There are no sharp edges on the bracelet or case. You have brushing on the side, you have polishing under the bezel, you have polishing on the back of the case, and then you have brushing on the case back itself. You have sort of a cross pattern on these two very large crowns, lots of specs, for a watch that costs around $90. Let's do measurements and then we're gonna do a loom shot because the loom is actually really good. So you get a textured dial on here, applied indices, and those indices are actually filled with loom. I'm not sure of the loom, I'm sure it is some sort of either Japanese or Chinese loom that they're using here. I don't think it's Super Luminova, but let's check it out. I mean, at this price, you really cannot go wrong. So. Uh, a very round, kind of simple case on here. Nothing too complicated, dual crown, 41.9 millimeters. It's not an entirely original design, but it's not completely unoriginal. Um, it's, you know, inspired by a few different uh, watches out there, but not bad. Lug to lug is 50 millimeters. You have a pretty long lug to lug on here. And then you do have male end lengths, 55.7 millimeters. So it is, you know, you know, I'm gonna wear a little bit big on your wrist. 13.4 millimeters, considering a 200 meter dive watch, really not that bad. Giant crowns, 7.9 millimeters on both, which is great. That's 7.9, I just slipped on there. So there you go, 7.9. Excellent. Dual sapphire crystals, inner rotating bezel. You have loom, you have sort of, I guess it's like a syringe, sort of fence post hand for the hour, and then you have a arrow for the minutes. Those are filled with loom and then you have an arrow, red arrow, seconds hand, also has loom in it. We're gonna do a loom shot as I mentioned. So very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. We've already talked about price and then we'll do a loom shot. 
Today I have on one of my newest additions, actually a gift for my wife. This is the Ultracron from Longines. This is a vintage version from the 1970s, I believe. Put it on a really inexpensive strap that I've had for a very, very long time. One of my favorites, a leather strap that looks like jeans. Kind of cool. But here is the Bernie dive watch, dual crown dive watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. And like I said, it's like a 41 and change millimeter watch. It is on the thicker side. It wears thicker than it actually is, even though it's 13 millimeters thick. It does sit down pretty well on my wrist, but it does look a little bit bigger than 41 millimeters, probably wears like a 42 millimeter. That has a lot to do with the very large lug span. But other than that, uh, I think it wears pretty nicely. Uh, and I think it's a pretty good looking watch, especially considering that it costs around $90 on this bracelet. And I highly recommend getting it on the bracelet or around $80 on the strap. With the discount, they give you 10% uh, off. I think you can probably put any strap that you want on this watch if you buy it on the bracelet. Very quickly, I do wanna show you the date complication. I did not mention that. Uh, you do have the day date there at the three o'clock. And the way that they have this set up is that you can see the day before and day after for the date. And then of course the day uh, right there. Very, very simple, uh, really well executed. And especially again, considering the price, I keep on saying that, but it's something that is a major selling point for this watch in my opinion. So very quickly, a loom shot, and then we'll wrap up the video. There you go. I mean, the loom is really not bad. I mean, you have loom on all of the indices except for the 12 and the six, which are applied silver indices. So you don't have loom there, but everything else is loomed pretty decently applied with loom. The hands are a little bit better than maybe the indices, but they're pretty much on par. And then you even have a little bit of loom in that second hand. You can see there it's ticking along pretty awesome. And then in the bezel itself, you have a triangle for orientation in the dark. What more could you ask for? at this price point. I really don't know. I cannot really come up with a lot of complaints for this watch, considering that it costs what it does. The only thing I can say is maybe it's on the thicker side and maybe it doesn't need to be that thick. It just feels thicker than it is. And you know, cause of the lug to lug, maybe, you know, the 55 millimeter lug to lug, maybe on a strap, this will wear a little bit smaller. But even with that said, you still can't go wrong with this. It's really something that um, I think that if you have, you know, a hundred bucks and you're looking for a decent dive watch, this is pretty good. And it's two years warranty also, which is on top of everything, dual sapphire crystals. It's pretty hard to beat. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the fact that it costs under a hundred dollars and you're getting all of these specs? Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. I'm trying to start up this channel as sort of a way to combat, uh, you know, YouTube shutting down channels. I want to be able to have another channel that I could make videos on uh, and not be scared of my main channel getting shut down. A lot of people have this problem. So I'm just trying to do something a little bit different, mix it up. So if you have not subscribed, I really appreciate you subscribing here as well. I'll be doing videos on watches and reviewing them here that I do not do reviews on on my main channel. So watches like this. Uh, anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.